Crevice in motion. And they get the ball immediately to Gardner and Tyler. Or three short of an all-time D2 record. On the sweep, they kick it out to Gardner. Gardner, Gardner looking for some room upfield. Weber wants to go right to the air. Has a man over the top. Man wide open over the top and a long play. Stiff arm. Keeping it in bounds, it's going to be an 83-yard tax on offense, and they'll send a man in motion. Gardner off the left side, again looking for room to run. But able to make the tackle. He tries to get to the outside, but yeah, Tyler Johnson there to make a great tackle. First quarter. Weber wants to go back to the air. Going on team in the country, looking to get off to a quick start. Crevice at the top of your screen. Weber looking that way, and an interception. Well, he's, they run the play action as they pass to the outside. The ball is thrown to the outside, and Ryan Mani Alongside Robert Weber at quarterback, and Gardner will get it off the left side. They're really trying to establish that. Tyler, child of the 80s. <laughs> Heiberger, though, got that award in September 11th that week. Big run out to this left side. And guard. It's a quick jump cut. Good sweep to the outside. And then sees one blocker. Defense is Gardner. A couple of good runs to start off this drive. Rolling out Weber. Weber turns up field. Has a man wide open. Hits his receiver. Weber going right back at it. He'll go right underneath. And a bad open field tackle and a second prolific rate at this point. Second down and seven on the 26. Gardner straight up the middle. Head under a minute here in the first quarter. Todd got ahead ball to approximately the 42 yard line. Gardner now set in motion, setting up a screen play. Coming underneath the middle, a second into back position. A lot of crossing routes, but said Harrison. Yeah. Harrison did not buy any of it. The field. It'll be on first down. He'll go straight to the air. He throws underneath. <laughs> I got maybe Thaddeus Fila, but you're saying. Western Oregon looking to exert some pressure potentially from the outside. Showing some blitz. Weber steps up and he's got a man wide open in the middle of the field. It, yeah, Weber takes the ball and looks around. Dylan Zavernik. Western Oregon dropping back in a little bit of zone. Weber trying to go down the seam. A little play action right there. Weber getting himself turned right back up the field. Great open. Defensive player of the week. Weber's going to get flushed out. Pressure coming from Western Oregon. He's going to try to scamper on his... Gardner gets the ball up the middle, has a big hole. And, you and he made it look easy. They'll go right back to Gardner, run him off the left side. He'll keep those legs moving as well. He'll pick his defensive back for Western Oregon today. But they'll give it right back to Gardner, and I don't blame him. I don't want to mess with outside of, uh, outside of football, too. Nice guy. They bring in... Not Weber will give it to Gardner. Gardner cuts it right up the middle following his center. And the ball is out. Ball is out. It's a fumble. That's Harrison. Harrison also has an interception. And now a fumble recovery. Yeah, and it was a great of your television screen. Robert Weber from the shotgun will hand it off to Gardner. And Gardner going nope. Gardner in the backfield. And it looks like they're going to have to go right to the air. And that's where Weber looks to go over the middle. Has a man open. It's Todd. Todd. That plays a good start for them, though, to, to get some momentum. Gardner right up the gut. And if I can quarter, it's Western Oregon's defense has put a halt to a team that scored 72 points a week ago. Pocket began to collapse. Weber ran to the outside and tried to throw a ball to the sideline, but receivers to his right. Found the man down the seam. Weber checks down and he's got a man wide, wide open. Well, it looked like they took a wheel route. Gardner came out of the backfield yeah, on the wheel on 44 yards to catch. Might want to find the football into number four's hands. A little bit of a broken play, and Weber going to go up top. And now I would say <laughs> that's going to be a defense two a week ago against Simon Frazier. They kick the ball out to Gardner. Gardner gets the seal. He turns it upfield, 
and the big play running back will run it to the middle. That is a 50-yard touchdown. Uh, that was very much him. He had uh, the pitch to the outside. The receiver has set up the block on the outside, and then it's all Gardner just uh, just weaving in and out. While it was 50 yards, he might have just ran 100 yards around the field to get <laughs> to the end zone. He'll get the ball out into the flat. And all of a sudden, field along with Robert Weber, they send Gardner out into the flat, and he's got all the room he wants. And he was Ryan McKenzie, but Gardner had a full head of steam, and it's tough for Jacks of Humboldt State. Weber from the shotgun going deep on first down. His man has got separation, and it is a beautiful. Gardner was in the backfield, but Weber going right over the middle. Plays. He definitely has the ability to fit the ball into very small seams. Right there, great torched late in that third quarter. Weber goes to Gardner, and Gardner has plenty. Based on the 23-yard line, Gardner getting the reward of a quick handoff after that reception. Weber's got time again. Checks all the way down to toss in the pocket right now. Plenty of time, the, the tackle made a great block there. Sees his man open, it wasn't his first read, it might have been his second or third read, but uh, he finds Todd, and Todd's having a- Lumberjacks are trying to pummel their way into Western Oregon territory. Gardner on the green, Crevache at the top. <laughs> Gardner actually been beat up pretty thoroughly here from the third quarter on Weber though. Has a man over the top, looks like Kren to, uh, to turn it up and, and try to get control of the game again. Gardner gets it to the left side, and there are pancake blocks, second and short for Humboldt State. They'll give it right back. And can't find that fine young gentleman's name to give him some credit for that great play. Weber over the top. Dominique Harrison called for the one-on-one. -on -one. Pass underneath. And oh, Weber can get the ball down the field. That's where he's done his damage today, and that's looking where he's trying to go. Wow, fits it into him. Clock still moving under four minutes. Gardner now on the right side, being strung out, and West trailing by a touchdown. 42-35, Weber now flushed out of the pocket. Big pressure coming in, and he'll be taken. That ref may have seen on that point, but great job by both defensive ends to collapse the power. Right at midfield, no timeouts taken either. Gardner getting the ball up the middle to Weber's left. They'll give the ball right back to Gardner. And I don't know if I, oh look, he's gonna pick up the first down. Definitely yield to the man's opinion. Weber looking to the right side, finds Todd. Three timeouts still with the Lumberjacks, and they are moving the ball down the field easily. Todd over the middle. Todd gets a block. Todd, no one there. And a game out of Humboldt State on the right side. They give the ball to Gardner. Gardner was going to throw the ball. He tucks it away. And Western Oregon times that they didn't tackle somebody wearing a white shirt. Well, you, you called it right away. You saw something a little bit different there. It was a halfback pass. But uh, the DBs did a great job. But his man-to-man -man down the field, which left an opening. 15-yard pickup for Gardner on a busted play and they reward the running back giving it right back to him giving him the they got they did get new life they had almost lost the game just now and you're gonna give it to your man Gardner who's run the ball or be able to throw the ball on the run they give it to trample the entire offensive and defensive lines for a touchdown in the opening possession of 